for those who have very little vision or no vision at all, uh, it does make a difference if it if it's, it keeps beeping even though it's idle. It's 120 decibels constantly whirling around the ice. It's an adapted hockey puck that emits the equivalent sound of a chainsaw or thunderclap. Known as the beeper, the audible puck was developed by researchers at the Université du Québec at Montréal to make it easier on blind hockey players like François Beauregard, who's been playing with the Montreal Ibu blind hockey team for the last 10 years. All I see is about 5 degrees. It's like looking down a tube, really. That's how I, I see the world. Playing hockey with a regular puck becomes impossible. They've been playing with an adapted steel puck that's bigger and heavier than an average puck, but it contains ball bearings, so the puck sounds sort of like a bell. It has its downfalls, though. It doesn't make any noise when it's idle on the ice, or it doesn't make noise when it's in the air. So for goalies who are totally blind, it's difficult to pick it up. This is where the idea of a puck that produces continuous sound came from. Researchers and designers at UCAM were put to the task four years ago and quickly found it a challenge. It's tough to, to have uh, something as big as it is, uh, lighter than it's supposed to be, to have fun, to play with it, and uh, also uh, to have uh, something in plastics that uh, can withstand uh, uh, eye impact. After years of work, they have a functional prototype. But there have been a few acoustic bugs, like when the beeper was in an enormous arena, it was hard to hear it. Researchers are now convinced they've worked out those bugs, and in smaller settings, the puck works like a charm and makes all the difference for players. It's easy to pick up. If it's idle in a corner, people with very low vision can go and get it. Goalies have a bit more of a fair chance. So especially with players who have very little residual or no vision at all, uh, it does make a difference. A difference Bohaga hopes will soon be a permanent fixture in Canadian blind hockey. That it will allow people with less vision to participate more, probably helps goalie and probably helps the, 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 the game to, be, to flow better. It's going to be a better flow to the game. Hockey might not be the only game this technology could benefit, though, as it's transferable to other ball sports like baseball, soccer, and volleyball. First, researchers need the backing to scale their prototype. Then they can really do what they set out to do for blind hockey and possibly more sports in the future. We hope that some other uh, impaired blind people can benefit about the, the, uh, of our work. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.